Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 887. And the topic today is all about Krispy Kreme. Well, not quite. But it's a message about how self-love is the core to everything. For loving yourself, loving other people, and everything else. Um, I'm going to promote something in the back end just so you know ahead of time. But I want to get into it in a more detailed way and give you some a little story that I read today that really was kind of cool. Before I do all that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. Hi, my name is Barry Selby, in case you didn't already know that. I am an inspirational speaker, um, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. I'm a big fan of that book because I wrote it. I wasn't a fan at the time, but I became a fan, so I'll, promote, I'll let you know about how you can find that copy at the back, how you find that book at the end of the broadcast. Um, I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's what informs my work with women. And also I started these talks or inspired these talks almost three years ago now called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 887. That's a lot of numbers to remember. And we're going to talk about, Chris, I'm actually going to give you a story about Krispy Kreme, a recent story I read in uh, Inc. Magazine that will give you a little insight and a little understanding. And also going to accentuate it about how self-love really is the key the access point, the resource for everything else. So this story is about a young guy, 21 year old guy named uh, Jason Gonzalez in um, Minnesota, I think, Minnesota, who basically had got in trouble with Krispy Kreme because there, there are no Krispy Kreme dispense um, stores where he lives. But he would go across the state line to Iowa and pick them up. The reason being is that it began where he was on a field trip with his football team, I believe it was. And on the way back, he saw in Iowa, where they were playing, a Krispy Kreme sign. And he, he posted on social media, anybody wants some Krispy Kremes whilst I'm here? And apparently a lot of people called out for him. So he picked up a bunch, took him back. He realized he had a smart idea for a business, or at least a favor. So he would basically take orders, he did the whole thing through social media, where he'd take orders and go to, and drive, I think it's like three hours across the border into Iowa to pick up Krispy Kremes, bring them back to his friends, and he'd like pull over in a Target's parking lot, whatever, and then he'd dispense them. And he was making some money out of it, because he's basically, um, he'd pick up like 100 boxes of, of Krispy Kremes, 100 dozen, that's a lot. Now he's in, he's in school right now, studying economics, so he's, he's, or accounting, he's definitely doing the number stuff in college. So this is a way of paying for his school. So Krispy Kreme um, found out about this and were quite adamant saying, shut it down, stop doing it. And on Jason's part, and this is a 21 year old by the way, rather than getting like either pissed off, upset, reactionary, rebellious, or like taken to court or something else going like, you can't do this, I wanna do this. He said, you know what? It was a good run. And this is, some, this is, some, this is gonna be, a, this is good because something better is coming along. Like be open to magic sort of thing, which is another teaching by the way. There was a big outcry on social media, probably by the people who were buying the donuts who couldn't get them anymore. But the bottom line was, is that in his moment of letting go and not being like reactionary and calling him names or anything, that sort of stuff, basically he was in a place of love, a place of compassion, a place of caring. What happened was shortly afterwards, Krispy Kreme reached out to him because they basically had a change of heart, it seemed like. And they said, you know what? We commend you for what you did being an entrepreneurial spirit, trying to get things done, helping your friends out. We don't have any stores in Minnesota, unfortunately. So what we want to do is help you keep going. So the first of all, they gifted him like 500 boxes, 500 dozen of Krispy Kreme donuts for his friends and people he want to sell to. And he could sell them. Because first of all, he's, reached, he's actually put out a, an ad or request, a GoFundMe, camp, excuse, GoFundMe campaign to get a new vehicle, a bigger vehicle, to go transport these donuts back and forth because the orders are growing now. He's making it to full-fledged business. But what Krispy Kreme said, they want to support him because one is in integrity and two, they want to help him get out of college or get through college uh, debt free. Now this is all starting from the point of view, hey Nancy, this is all starting from the point of view where he was unattached and he became, um, well I'm basically an entrepreneur at 21 years old, that's pretty cool. But I think through the thread of the whole thing was an idea of love versus reaction, love versus hate. Because the first time when Krispy Kreme reached out and said shut it down, it was kind of a perfunctory, um, unloving act but I, but I think what happened was my perception was that Jason the young boy the young man involved realized out of love he just wanted to be peaceful about it he didn't want to react to it he didn't want to be rebellious he wanted to be like it's the way it is moving on and what happened was better than he could have planned way better than he could have planned in fact so what's this going to do with relationships you might be thinking in some ways everything 
donuts. Oh yeah, <laughs> you heard it. You heard it was today, but it already had an almond croissant. Was it donut day today? Did I miss that? No, it wasn't about having get donuts. I was talking about a story in Minnesota about Krispy Kreme um, entrepreneurship. <laughs> so maybe I did miss out on on, on donut day today. Um, but you let me know that Nancy, you love donuts. I'm glad to hear it. Um, yeah, we well, see. For me, donuts are only donuts only work for me if they if they're filled. If they're just empty without that, you know, I missed International Donut Day. Oh man, damn! <laughs> well, thanks for letting me know, Nancy. I appreciate that. Not really. Um, so, <laughs> so, so my, the bottom line of this I want to speak about is the fact that we had this opportunity. In a way, now I can get biblical about this about how Jesus talks about turning on the cheek. Cheek. If you want to get religious, maybe you could do that. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that. Really what it comes down to is when you can resource yourself from love, even when something contrary happens, you're in a whole healthier place, a stronger place, a more caring place. Now, part of the reason why this is going on for me, and I'm going to sidebar just to lean into a slight promotion just to know this. I've been, I've been writing the content, I'm actually just, just put up the page now today, like about 15 minutes ago, for my Thriving Through the Holidays course I'm offering. It's a it's a six week, an eight week program. Um, they're so... Okay, <laughs> they're so good. Not the foo foo kind, but the corner donut stand kind. Nancy, you're on a one track mind. Can you stay focused on what I'm talking about, please? <laughs> you're on a, you're on a rant now about donuts, which I appreciate and I understand you and I love you for that. But I'm trying to get my message out here and you keep distracting me with talking about donuts. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you do. So so here's the thing. <laughs> As I mentioned, I've I, I written the copy out, which is really um, about thriving through the holidays, is what it's called. And part of the whole, th there's a commonality between the Krispy Kreme donut story I just mentioned and this, because the holidays are a challenging time for many of us. To go on for Thanksgiving can be one of the most painful times of the year, not just stress-based, but painful when you have all the childhood stuff shows up and you're dealing with family members and issues and stuff from your, your history that keeps coming up in your face. Or you're getting judged by your family because of your by parents, especially for the job you don't have, or the relationship you don't have, or the place you're living at, or all these different things. These holidays can be actually stressful. And I noticed that for some people, once the Halloween decorations can, decorations come down, and then the holiday decorations come up, Christmas lights and stuff, some people get triggered by that. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it's what inspired me to create this this basically two month course that I've created. One well, course is like a group coaching, group support group um, thriving course that I'm create, I've created. I I'll put the link in the comments so you can check it out for yourself. Because for me, when you understand that all of that stuff out there, family dynamics, issues, challenges like that, yes, then well, their, their next one before Halloween is even done. Well, I did I did mention in a, in a post about this recently about how Costco were putting up their holiday decorations in August, way before Halloween. But I'm speaking about the actual decorations in the houses. <laughs> I understand it triggers you. Yes, it's like relax, Arnold, cute. But this is the thing I'm talking about here is that the holidays can be very triggering for people. Part of the reason why it happens for a lot of us is we don't remember or we forget, let's say it that way, or we don't even think about it, is that we, it's like loving ourselves first is the way through all of this stuff. This is the shortcut, by the way. If you really learn how to love yourself and you do love yourself daily, practically every single moment, hold space for yourself for love. Whatever's happening out there, including with family, including Thanksgiving, including Christmas, including all the stress stuff, you go through it easily. But for most of us, that's not easy. I mean, I created my, my self-love meditation, the guided meditation, to give you a daily practice for 30 days to instill in you a way to love yourself easily, effortlessly, and continuously. In fact, what, I've, what I'm offering, if you do go check out the Thriving course, you want to sign up for it, I'm giving you the, the self-love meditation course as a gift from me to you for free. So that's included. That may not last, by the way. I'm just doing it right now. So if you're interested, you might get in early just in case I change my mind. So that's going to be there as well. So when I, what I'm speaking about here is how self-love is the guiding principle here. With what, what um, Jason did, Jason uh, Gonzalez did in his choice, is he decided to practice love versus againstness. Love instead of hate. Love instead of judgment. And he let go. And what happened was bigger than he could have asked for. So it's not only about relationships I'm speaking here. I'm speaking about love can actually open the doors for many miracles for careers, for income, for housing, for life, for love, for joy, for everything. It really does start with self-love. And when you have that principle 
owned and you're living it and you're, expect, you're, you're experiencing it fully, you'll be amazed what happens around you. As I mentioned before about relationships, and I've said it on the broadcast about this, is every single relationship around you will transform when you love yourself first. It sounds very trite to say it that way, but it's the truth. Because when we're no longer in a, can I get from somebody something like, if, you get, if I get love from you, then I'll feel loved. If you can get out of that habit, it changes every single relationship you have. Every single relationship. And you become free to love fully, easily, and effortlessly. So self love first, first of all, makes you less dependent upon other people's love. And secondly, gives you more abundance to share your love with other people. And what happens is people around you might feel actually lifted up by that. So you become a positive influence or a, and um, an added benefit to other people. So this little reminder for you is a little nudge in the direction of um, loving yourself first so that everything else can change. Whether it's relationships, whether it's business opportunities like what Jason was doing, whether it was anything else for that matter. When you learn to love yourself first, when you practice loving yourself first, when you honor and respect and love yourself first, am I being clear? Everything else changes. So I'm going to put some links in the comments because I'm really adamant about this right now. So I will put a link in the comments for my self-love guided meditation, which you can get on its own. But if you do sign up for my th thriving, over the, thriving Through the Holidays course, which I'll put a link in the comments for that too, you'll get the self-love meditation for free. That's my, get my first bonus. I'm going to provide a few other bonuses through the course because it's the holidays after all. And this course, by the way, runs from November 15th through January 15th, right through the holidays. So Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year's, all of it is, is covered through this course. So if you've got any stress about that, any concerns about that, or you want to have some more support during that time, this is for you. So I invite you to go check that out. Um, those links in the comments plus my book. I'll put the comments too. So those three things will be in the comments. And if you want to reach out to me over social media to get more questions answered, to ask some questions for me, you'll get some help. You can do that over social media. Um, I think that's really what I want to say. That, that, that makes the point. So when you, the next time you have a donut, or Krispy Kreme for that matter, remember this story. It might just give you some insight into how you can be treating your business differently, how you can treat your co-workers differently, how you can treat your relationships differently. But it all starts with self-love. I think I made the point seriously enough for you to work with, and I'll, keep you, I'll, give, you, I'll give you that as my sign-off. So a couple of things. Um, I'll give you the replays that'll be in the comments. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays go to my YouTube, sorry, go to my business page on Facebook, although Facebook doesn't display all of them for some reason. They are out there. So if you go to my, my business page, which is Barry Silver to author, you can get uh, all the replays there and scan through them. Or better yet, frankly, is if you go to my YouTube channel, and that is uh, Barry Silver, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Silver. You can uh, subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where every single one, for sure, is listed from newest to oldest, and you can scan through all of them. You can scan through the titles, find ones that speak out to you. Um, and just as a little nudge, I'm probably going to offer a little packages of my replays. I'm going to edit them down and create them into teaching. So there's going to be a five or seven unit teaching and I'll be selling them. So if you want to get in early, go watch the broadcasts that are on my YouTube channel because they're available now. I might hide them later on. We'll see. <laughs> Not trying to cause any commotion, just, just letting you know a couple of things. So that's where you find the replays. Um, links will be in the comments for you to check out. I invite you to check out the Thriving Through the Holidays because that's going to be a fun course. I'm going to I'm looking forward to supporting a lot of people through that. And I'm going to bring a lot of gifts of my own to help you through that time. So with that, I thank you for watching. Appreciate you being with me as always. Any questions, comments, message me through social media or put the comments below and I'll respond when I sign off. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.